Um, see, we're three part beings, right? Mind, body, and spirit. And so usually when we're having difficulties focusing, it's because biologically we have um, a lot of adrenaline that keeps our mind racing, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so also there's a comparison between people that are highly organized and structured, the sounds that best suit them are like soft jazz music, um, music that has melodies that you can follow. And for people that are on the go, that, uh, have schedules that are more flexible, that, that are not as so highly structured sounds that don't have, uh, direct rhythms mm -hmm. and, um, melodies to follow can help them decrease some of that anxiety. With the sound bowls, what's happening, there's, there's seven bowls and they are correlated to the seven energy centers in the bottom of the body. And so every time the bowl is strummed, um, it releases a frequency that you hear that kind of just moves around the internal body chemistry and gets those hormones that are not regulated or not uh, balanced due to trauma in mm -hmm. the body to start pumping and going. So what you'll find is that the longer that you're able to meditate or listen to these sound healings, naturally the, the adrenaline, all of the other hormones that have built up that, that are toxic in your body will start to lower. Your blood pressure will start to lower because your body's naturally producing what it needs to produce. When we're in um, traumatic situations or, or uh, hurried situations, we're producing a lot of adrenaline mm -hmm. in our body. And, and high levels of that over time pushes us through situations that sometimes we can't think through all the way. Mm -hmm. Our body responds before our brain does. And so when you're able to kind of regulate those emotions and, and calm down, you're able to make better decisions for higher emotional payoff. But it takes practice. I was the same right. way. And now when I put on the headphones and listen to um, like binaural beats, mm -hmm. which is beats that have conflicting sounds to help um, regulate the, you know, the hemispheres in your brain. So mm -hmm. it helps for deeper states of meditation. Now, honestly, it feels like heaven when I hear it because right. it's just um, just a release. Have you seen those videos of people, the ASMR, like yeah, yeah. whispering? In yeah, it's, it's sort of doing the same thing. Because we're in a society with so much energy and so much um, on the go. Right. And so when you have to calm yourself down to focus and listen, yeah. it's releasing those hormones and helping regulate your emotions. I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna like start a paid podcast listening because I feel like I'm yeah. getting I'm getting some gold right now. Because like yeah, I actually I mean, Yeah, I love it. Seriously. And then and I know people listening to this. So okay, so just I wanna try to understand this a little bit deeper. So yeah. It's not, it's not just like this sound will work for everybody. It's actually kind of identifying some of the ways that you are and kind of identifying some of those different, is that, is that my, yeah. understand that correctly? Because that, that to yes. me, like, you know, I just, I think a lot of times it's, um, I like if I get a massage, it's like mm -hmm. this music's not doing any, it's actually making me more anxious sometimes. Right. And maybe it's yeah. kind of just how yeah. I'm wired a little bit. Is that, am I reading yeah. that right? It could be, right? You got to mm. find what works for you. Mm -hmm. But then also, there's a number of things, right? When you set yourself down for meditation, um, sometimes people feel guilty. There's a number of thoughts that goes through their head. Like, is this really working? Do I even have time for this? So they don't even mm -hmm. gift themselves right. the time of silence, mm -hmm. of just not, move, not moving, um, relaxing your brain. And so when you get into those, those, that space of just letting what comes to you and observe your thoughts, right? Observe what's happening so that you can make better decisions. Um, it prepares you. It, it, it makes you able to regulate yourselves in difficult situations. And so that you're taking what you're practicing and you can apply it to real life, right? Life is supposed to be a walking meditation if you think about it. You're supposed to always be aware of what's happening, what's happening to yourself mm -hmm. so that when you're encountering something, you get to choose if you want to experience it or not. We don't have to experience everything that comes right. into our face, right? But the problem is people get so triggered by what's in front of them right. because of a biological response mm -hmm. that's inside of them. Think about, I don't know, think about a situation that happened to you that caused some sort of trauma that, you know, you'll have a trigger to, mm -hmm. right? 
it's stored in your body. Mm -hmm. All of that, all of that energy, all of the hormones, the built up hormone levels are stored. So when you have a similar trigger that you encounter, your body will respond faster than your brain will, unless you put yourself in different environments to get what you need naturally. 